Welcome back to another video. My name's Carl Gosling and today I'm going to be reviewing the Play Seat Challenge. Probably one of the most popular, if not the most popular, low-end, uh, entry-level budget racing seats on the market. Couple this with a, a Logitech G920 or similar and you've got a, a complete ready-to-go racing rig that folds away and can be tucked behind a sofa, cupboard under the stairs, in the corner of a room wherever you need it to go. Now, this has been out for a while, so it's not gonna be a new reviews, plenty of reviews out there of this seat, but as 2020 rapidly approaches, this is probably on a lot of people's Christmas lists. Um, in fact, there's probably a few already packed up, sitting under a tree, just itching to be opened. So um, I thought that was a good time to do a you know an up-to-date review, see what I think uh, of the play seat challenge. This is the first time we'll have used one. Um, I've got a GT Omega Art cockpit back there, which is my main racing setup. But I got this for the bargain price of £60 off of Facebook Marketplace. Now that's an absolute steal. Um, I'm a bit of a bargain hunter when it comes to things like this. I love my technology, I love my sim racing. Even though I don't need this, I just wanted to pick one up out of curiosity to see what it was like to use, you know, and, uh, and then share that experience with, with you guys. So 60 pound I got this for Facebook Marketplace. You can get them from 60 to 100, 100 plus on eBay sometimes they go for, so it really was a good deal. But those deals are out there. Um, they're about 170 pound brand new. I think Argos have them for 165 at the moment in their eBay shop. I'll link to that in the description below if you wanna get one, or, and if you've not already got one on your Christmas list. Um, but yeah, 60 notes I pay for this. Now what I'll do is I'll take you on a little tour around it, just showing you a couple of the features and giving my thoughts on, on the construction and the feeling of it all. And then I'm gonna get my Logitech set up that I also picked up for a bargain price um, from a charity shop. I'm gonna get that set up on here and then do a little bit of racing in dirt rally and give my thoughts and opinions on how it all is so let's have a quick look around and we'll get into that so let's take a little walk around the play seat challenge itself starting off with the, the material i think is a good place to start it's like a, a velour it feels very very plush like a like a plush toy um, so very soft and i would say it's going to be pretty comfortable i have only sat in it once just to see if I fit it in it. But yeah, I'm gonna say it's gonna be pretty comfortable. I'll do a little bit of racing and we'll see. But it feels very soft. It's, it's padded in the places that need to be padded. So it's not like a cheap fold away deck chair that's gonna be cutting into you after 10 minutes. Um, and, uh, and it feels fairly robust, fairly solid material. Now, a lot of it is held in place with Velcro straps. There's one at the back here, you can see there these ones at the side here also. And the, these are the side ones are actually how you adjust the angle of the seat. So you can see these little red stripes on either side, they match each other. So if you wanted to recline the seat more, you would undo the Velcro here and on the other side, you can see it dangling down, there's a little red tag on it and that will allow the seat to recline further and then you just do the Velcro up again. And so what you do is you'd perhaps just go another red line if you wanted to go further, go around the other side, go one red line, Velcro up and you know the seat is perfectly square. Nice little touch, makes it easy to, to set up. And again, if you wanted to go a bit higher up, you just bring it in one or two as you felt necessary. Uh, as far as other adjustments go, I'll just to point out, this one had been modified for use with flight sticks. The guy was into his, um, flight sim, so he had a bracket attached to here and he's drilled through it to put bolts through and hold that in place. Um, I mean, that is gonna contribute to why I only got it for 60 quid, but if it bothers you, it bothers you. You can put a sleeve over there and cover it up. Wouldn't make any difference, but it makes no odds to me. It doesn't affect the way it's gonna function. It's still a bargain. So um, yeah, uh, getting distracted. Carrying on, there's, there's two more Velcro strips here. You can see they're all marked with these little red tags, so you can see where they are. If you undo those, that will slacken off this front section here, allowing it to sit lower or higher. So that gives you a little bit of adjustment there. The pedal deck here slides in and out. You undo two of these thumb screws here. There's only one in it at the moment, the other one's somewhere else on the sideboard, where I've been mucking about with it. So yeah, you'd undo those two and it would slide forwards 
or backwards, there is a little stabilizing arm. You can just see it poking out the side there. That slides in and out. Um, you have it out when you're using the play seat because to get in and out of it, you've probably seen this in other videos, you undo this here and that lifts up, swings out the way. Now with your steering wheel attached to that pedal deck, that would put a fair bit of weight over to the left hand side. So without your little stabilizing rod coming out there, the rig could potentially fall over. So that's a nice little touch as well. They have, so you can see they put some thought into this. Um, also, ignore this, that's not there. That's, that's a, uh, a shift amount that I'm gonna talk about in another video. Um, it doesn't come with that as standard. In fact, as standard, there's nowhere to fit a shifter. You've just got your pedal deck down there for your pedals and your wheel deck here for your steering wheel. Now you can see it's pre-drilled for quite a few different wheels. Thrustmaster, Logitech, probably Fanatic. I haven't actually looked, I'll be honest with you. But they're the most common ones. Um, would you want to put something as strong as a Fanatic CSW on this or a Thrustmaster TS PC racer? I don't know yet. I'll, um, I'll tell you at the end of the video once I've tried it out. But you can see it's pre-drilled for all those. The way the pedal deck works, you can see we've got some foam either side there. You literally set your pedal deck down and then there's a Velcro strap that you'll put round your foot plate and you pull it as tight as you can so it digs into the foam, wedges up against the front there and that secures the pedal deck in place. Again, I haven't tried it yet so we'll see how well that works. You can adjust the angle of the wheel deck as well by slackening this off. That allows this to go incline or decline. Obviously this is gonna be, um, I'm probably going to leave it level, to be honest. I don't know why I'd have it any other way. Maybe if you're super reclined, you want the steering wheel angled down a little bit towards you, perhaps. But good to have the option to, uh, to do it. So there's our little walk around. You can see how it adjusts. You can see how you would adjust the angle, the, the pedal deck in and out, the wheel deck. You can see my cat just hopping in for fun. How are you doing, Ori? Um, and that's probably all I need to show you as far as this walk around goes. The strap you see dangling here is actually what we use later to secure it once it's folded up, ready for storage. So I'm going to go ahead and fit the uh, steering wheel and the pedals and my shifter. And um, there I've, got, I've got another video reviewing that showing you how the, the clamps and everything work with those. So I'm not going to show you that now. If you want to see how the clamps work, look at my G920 review. Um, from a couple of weeks ago. But I'm going to go ahead and get that installed and uh, I'll be back with you in a sec, um, ready for, uh, for a little drive. So there I was, all ready to get in the rig there, go for a little racing dirt rally and show you how it all works. And this happened. Fucking one hour update. So it looks like I'm going to go and get some lunch whilst this update happens and then record the rest of this review for you after I've had my lunch. Thankfully, you don't have to wait the hour. I have to wait the hour. The next thing you're gonna see is me sat in the chair and it all working. And um, one thing I will mention uh, whilst I'm doing this little interim segment is um, I did briefly say earlier that you can adjust the angle of the wheel deck. Um, you can also adjust the wheel deck itself forwards and backwards by removing four countersunk screws. Uh, and you probably get you probably get a good good four or five inches of adjustment in each direction. So for my particular size of person, I'm five foot eleven. I've actually put the deck in the central position because there's there's like six preset holes, or is it eight? One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight preset holes. Um, so you can go two, four, two. Eight preset holes, four different distances, four different gaps. So you can go two forward, two backwards, or you can sit in the middle. So it sat in the middle for me. I then adjusted the angle of the wheel deck just down a little bit because with the G920 uh, clamped to it, and it is just clamped, I haven't hard mounted it. Um, yeah, with it, with it clamped on in its level position, the steering wheel was actually just tilted up a little bit, sort of that way, which I didn't really like, so I've just, undone that thumb screw, tilted the deck down, just one notch and then done it back up. And now the steering wheel is at a normal sort of angle, not perfectly flat obviously against you, just tilted back a touch. So that was pretty good. Again, for my height and leg length, I've adjusted the pedal deck out 
um, probably seven or eight inches from its furthest, most inward position. Um, and yes, I'm all ready to go as soon as this fucking update finishes. So uh, I'm gonna grab some food and I'll see you in a sec and we'll do some driving. Again, whilst I'm waiting for that update on Dirt Rally 2, I thought I'd just give you another quick walk around. Now we've got the the steering wheel and the and the shifter and the pedals mounted so you can see what it all it all looks like from the seated position again that shifter mount is not standard i'll do a video another video about that because that's something um custom in fact play seat do a shifter mount i think it's about 30 quid which is a bit of a joke as far as the price goes because all it is is a metal plate that comes out the side of this wheel deck it can either stick out this side or it can stick out that side depending whether you're you know here in the uk or whether you're american and drive on the other side of the road or wherever else in the world that might drive on the other side of the road um yeah it's just a metal plate that comes out and it uses the same bolt holes that you would secure your wheel to the wheel deck with i believe um, and it just extends it out so it puts the shifter just beside it here a bit like if you had it mounted to a to a desk in fact um, what we've got well I've got here as you can see actually puts the shifter down and to the left in a more natural position but anyway yeah that's that's the you can see just a slight incline I've given the deck there to, to put the wheel at that angle uh, and the pedals you can see are just they're just held down by this strap here which you almost can't even make out because it's black yeah and there's my gap how far I've got it out um, but uh, but yeah, I thought I'd just give you a quick, a quick look around it whilst I'm kicking about. And also, obviously, I haven't done any cable management at all here because this is just a temporary setup. If this was my permanent and only racing setup, then you would cable tie all these cables down around the frame and the same along the bottom there, and make it all really neat and tidy. But this is just for uh, just for review purposes. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick look at that. Um, Let's, uh, let's get back to, to the demonstration, shall we? Right, the game's updated. I'm back from lunch. I've got a full belly and I'm nearly ready for my afternoon nap. But before we do that, and I have a little cheeky snooze, let's get the rest of this video review done, shall we? So yeah, the game's installed, uh, game's updated, sorry. I've set up the Logitech uh, wheel shifter and pedals with Dirt Rally, because it's the first time I've used this down here. Uh, and I'm ready to get in and give you a little demonstration. So first things first, I'll show you how you do get in. Uh, I did mention it briefly earlier, but you open, am I in the way? No, I'm not. You open this here, this lifts up like that, completely out of the way. And again, that little stabilizer leg is out. And then all you do is you walk in and you sit down. Um, uh, the camera could do a bit of a touch higher. Two secs. Uh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Not the most professional, but hey, who cares? Right, so yes, I'm in the chair. Now, these um, these Velcroed arms, they're more than strong enough to take the weight of a person, so you can climb in and out using those without any problem at all. So then once you're in, let's just get this mic cable out from under my legs. You bring your wheel deck back over and just move that into position, and now it can't move. Now, um, I have had a quick little go whilst I was setting the controls up and I've got to say I'm already very impressed so let me um, let me do a little demonstration drive and uh, I'll try and talk whilst I'm doing it but it's not easy because I have to concentrate in dirt rally so um, yeah let's give this a little whirl oh let's get the screen capture software rolling as well otherwise we'll have no footage of that um, Alt and F9 which is the shortcut for the NVIDIA recording software. Works just fine for me. So there we go, right, brilliant. So here we are. Um, we're in Wales uh, for a very quick run. And I'm in a Mitsubishi Evo 10. My handbrake is mapped to the left paddle because there's no handbrake on this rig. Although I can see already where I put one. So maybe that's another video I'll do. Anyway, left paddle. Away we go. And we're off. So, first impressions 
of this little seat and I stall on the first corner look. Here we go. This is why I can't drive and talk. Yeah, first impressions of this little seat are that it's really solid considering it's a foldable seat. Now, using this Logitech G920, which is not the heaviest of wheels with the strongest of force feedback, I'm really getting no noticeable flex uh, either left to right or up and down. Now maybe you can see some on the video, I don't know because I've got to look where I'm going. But as far as the driving experience goes, I can't feel any, um, which is really good. And also if you're interested in, um, in how I've got this wheel configured for the force feedback in Dirt Rally 2, I've done a video on that as well, so just take a peek through my sim racing playlist on my channel. Um, oh, fuck me. This is actually quite a tricky track. I should have chosen an easier one. Um, the seat's comfortable. There's actually a reasonable amount of what I want to call lumbar support for my lower back, which is quite nice. Um, where I've got the shifter mounted, it's a perfect location in relation to the steering wheel. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, it's comfortable. I can press the brake pedal all the way to the floor with the full force that I need to. And I can feel a tiny little bit of flex uh, in the pedal plate, but it, I mean, it's probably because I'm using the Logitech pedals and they're plastic. And it's just held down by a strap. But, um, oh, fuck me, way. Come on, get away from the trees, you fucker. Whoa, that was, that was a good save. Whoa. A bit of luck, I reckon, more than more than skill there. Um, what was I saying? Yes, I can brake with the full strength of my leg on the brake pedal, uh, or with full strength as I need to, and that feels fine. As I say, no noticeable flex. I'm going to say I'm impressed. And if this is the sort of setup you need, because you've got no room for a full-size cockpit. I can't see why you wouldn't want one. Oh, it's quite left. On the handbrake. Round we go. Hairpin right on the handbrake again, or left paddle as the case may be. That's the top tip there, I think, actually. Using that left paddle, which for us guys in the UK would be a handbrake hand, actually feels relatively natural. I was a bit late there, but I just managed to get it through. Yeah, it actually feels relatively natural. Um, and as long as you're not steering too far away, I mean, your, your fingers are always there in reality, unless you're drifting and you're letting go of the wheel, spinning it through your hands. But you don't tend to do that in dirt rally. You tend to keep your hands at um, three o'clock and nine o'clock and just turn them as much as you need to. So whilst that wasn't my fastest run, um, it wasn't too bad. Um, not too bad at all, considering it's, you know, it's an unfamiliar wheel and shifter for me as well, and pedals, really, in an unfamiliar seat. But yeah, so my final thoughts, um, let's just stop this and turn the volume down in case you can hear that. There we go. So yeah, um, what do I think about the play seat challenge? I think the play seat challenge is really good. Um, if I get the wheel, and I move it left to right, there's, there's, can you see any flex in the video there? There's, I'm gonna say there's almost no flex, which is pretty good. Up and down, look, we've definitely got a fair bit of wobble up and down there, but I didn't notice it whilst I was driving, and that's the important thing. And again, braking hard, I mean, yeah, if I push super hard, I can just lift the bottom of the seat, just comes up a touch. But again, you don't notice it when you're in the heat of battle, so to speak. So um, I'm gonna say this chair, whether you're buying it brand new, oh, and incidentally, whilst I was having lunch, I was having a quick look around, and I've got a Libe, a Libe Inc, fuck's sake, an eBay link in the description for a brand new one of these, 160 pound free next day delivery. So if you are in the market for one, do me a favor, it really help the channel out. I'm new, throw us a sub as well if you're into this sort of thing. I am new, I'm just starting, I appreciate it. Um, click the link through and grab yourself one of these brand new next day delivery for 160 quid here in the UK. Or if you're on a bargain hunt, like I always am, 
Facebook Marketplace. eBay isn't the cheapest by a long shot. Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, this one I'm sat in today cost me 60 quid. And aside from these holes that have been drilled here for the previous owner who had his flight sim set up, it's in lovely condition. I really can't grumble. Now, one of the other reasons I wanted to make this video was because there is a new foldable racing seat that's come out. Not by Playseat, by a brand that I've never heard of before, and they're called X Rocker. Now, there's none on eBay, unless you're in Australia, but here in the UK, Argos seem to be selling them. Now, their, their what they call X Rocker Circuit Folding Racing Seat, I wanna put some footage up of this now, it looks pretty much like the play seat, what I'm sat in now. Um, it folds away in just the same fashion and it has what looks to be most of the same features. The adjustability seems to be very similar. I can't tell whether the wheel deck has uh, pre-drilled holes for hard mounting things or whether it's just desk clamp style fitment only. Can't see in the pictures. But this is a little bit cheaper than the than the play seat that I'm in. Now, I can't comment on the quality, uh, the build quality, the feel or anything because I haven't had one, but they look to have literally just copied the play seat. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'll get one in for review and then I'll be able to compare and let everyone know whether I recommend the X Rocker Circuit Folding Racing Seat or the play seat challenge. Now, I mean, this I think this only came out about four or five months ago, this X Rocker one, they're new. Um, so you probably won't find one second hand, or if you do, there aren't gonna be many around. Whereas these play seats have been out for ages, so second hand ones are, are everywhere, which is why I managed to get this for, for the bargain price of 60 quid. So anyway, yeah, I highly recommend it. If you want one brand new one, click the link in the description below. Um, I'll pick up one of those X-Rocker ones in a couple of weeks, do a video review of that and compare the two. Um, if you wanna go on a bargain hunt, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, that's where you'll find the best deals on this. Um, also G920 Logitech or G29 if you're on the PlayStation. Uh, wheel, shifter, pedals, links below to those, both brand new and second hand as well, should you wanna get this complete setup that I'm sat in right now. As far as upgrades go, I think this would happily take at least up to a Thrustmaster TSPC Racer or a TXXW. Uh, and the Fnatic equivalent to that would be the CSW. Honestly, the rigidity side to side is better than what my GT Omega Art cockpit was before I modified it to, to stiffen it up a bit, which is another video I'll do uh, about that as well. Um, the up and down play, I mean, there's nothing obvious I can see that you could do about that because you wanna try and retain the folding functionality. Oh, that's a good point. We haven't actually folded it up, have we? So let me get out. And, um, and I'll move the camera around and we'll see how it folds away. I haven't actually tried it myself yet, so um, yeah, let's, let's give that a go. Okay, so let's have a little go at folding this bad boy up. Now, as I say, I haven't actually done this, so we're gonna figure it out as we go along together. I'm assuming that we're gonna lock the steering wheel in place there. Now, obviously all my wires are still plugged in and my bloody microphone wires dangling around, but not much I can do about that right now. So, what else would we potentially do? I guess we fold our little stabilizer rod in. Do we just pick it up? Kinda looks like we just pick it up. Now we've got a Velcro strap at the top here. That looks like I can wrap that around the steering wheel and that'll Velcro that in place, perhaps. So pull that round there, and just stick it, stick it in place. Yeah, 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 we've got some nice Velcroed up. And then the pedal deck, what do we do with that? I'm guessing we're probably, it's lean that, that way, is that still in shot? Sort of. Can you actually see what I'm doing here? Okay, what I think we need to do is just slide the pedal deck yeah there we go so if you've got your pedal deck extended because your legs are long and you're not short ass you need to um 
you need to slide them back down by undoing that thumb screw or two thumb screws. And then what you're left with, again, I don't know if you can really see this here. I'll show you in a second, a close up. There's another Velcro strap here. Uh, and that will just loop around. Yeah, that'll loop around the top of the pedal deck like that. This is my excess strap I've got kicking about. And that would be, ugh, that would be it folded away. Relatively, well, it was easy. And I've never done it before. So that was a piece of piss. Um, the only thing I will say is obviously I've got all my cables. Stay there, you bastard. I've got all my cables all just bestrewn around. If you've done a nice, neat, you know, cable management style tidy up install, either, either little Velcro straps or cable ties, then they're not all gonna just be laying around and flapping about like mine are. So yeah, um, yes, I think it folds away really easily. I think the installation of the steering wheel, the pedals, um, piece of piss, couple of cable ties to tidy those wires up and it'll be spot on. So yeah, I recommend it. Thanks very much uh, for watching this review. Um, keep your eyes open for more of this sort of stuff. And if you want anything you see here, just look in the description for the links below the play seat challenge, Logitech G920 or G29. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy.